You're listening to the Advanced Christianity Series. Today's meditation is the atmosphere of union enlightenment. In some of my exchanges in some upcoming books, I also refer to this meditation as the no self atmosphere. So today I want to cover several points on cultivating this no self atmosphere, which will lead to union enlightenment. However, it has to be done in a way where the cultivation is cultivating itself. There is no you necessarily who is doing the cultivation. And the first step in all of this is really to be aware of the ego, seeing the thoughts, becoming aware of what is it that the ego does. The best way to do this is sit down for 10-15 minutes with a pen and a piece of paper and write down, write down the stream of thoughts that occurs in the mind view and write down the content of the ego. If you do this, you're going to see that the entire ego structure revolves around I, I, me, and mine. Usually it has to do with I, how will I get union? I wonder about this, I want that, I don't want this, I'm the victim. It's the whole selfish I mentality. It's narcissism. It's I-ness, me-ness, mine-ness. And this I constructs itself to fill in all sorts of blanks. So for example, if I have I fill in the blank, this I, this ego construct, believes itself to be all these different things. I am a Christian, I am agnostic, I am a woman, I am a man, I am old, I am young, I am tall, I am short. All these constructs are illusions, they're labels, they're super impositions over a reality that's already naked, where there are no labels. And this, this ego, this I construct, either thinks in terms of past or future. In the past, I had this and now I don't. Or in the past, I didn't have any of that and now I do. In the future, I'm going to do this, do that. It's all the root of the ego is basically the thought I. So it's your job throughout the day to start to become aware of the ego. It's cultivating seeing the thoughts, seeing what the ego is doing. So how are these thoughts countered? There's no point in fighting against the thoughts because that just creates another you that's trying to get rid of the you. The proper way to do this is to allow the thoughts to occur, allow them to be as they are. You're neither rejecting nor reacting to whatever the mind stream, that ticker tape of illusion, that daydream is producing. There's no clinging to any thoughts. There's no attaching to any of them. It's simply seeing what they're doing and seeing that they're illusions. They have no reality. They're daydreamed constructs. They're all concepts. They're conceptual. So there's this creation, or rather, unraveling into this non-stickiness. There's no reference points. There's nowhere to grasp. There's nowhere to hold on to. Everything becomes like water, free-flowing. You also want to see that this thought stream, this illusion ticker tape, is occurring on its own. There is no no one who is doing the thoughts. They are just spontaneously arising. 
if you've spent that 10 to 15 minutes or if you're starting to cultivate seeing what the ego is doing throughout the day then you'll see that the stream of thoughts it's it happens to arise in the form of one stream of thoughts into another into another into another it's like going down the rabbit hole of illusion now this thought stream it's imprisoning awareness it's imprisoning the direct experience of reality life itself experience itself reality itself is being imprisoned by this thought stream and all that needs to be done is to realize that there is no you there is no prisoner to be imprisoned this prison is a prison of thoughts of illusions of unreal daydreams so just being aware that the prison is an illusion and who you think you are also isn't who you are is how freedom starts to spontaneously open up and flow for this illusory prison to, to deconstruct to fall away. The next step is to realize that there's always only the present moment. The present moment is, is always what is happening. Any thoughts about the past are illusory. They're occurring in this present moment. That present moment is the only thing, one of the only things actually that is part of the present moment experience. Any thoughts about the future also. There's nothing wrong with planning. There's nothing wrong with preparing or getting ready for what tomorrow brings but there has to be an established presence and awareness and seeing and knowing that there is only this present moment experience and this present moment experience itself it's naked look at the wind look at the sky look at nature look at reality all around you it's all naked there are no thoughts or labels that are being superimposed onto reality itself except what the ticker tape mind stream is producing and that ticker tape the illusory machinery within the mind is attempting to steal attention to superimpose over that present moment and take away that present moment into some future some idea into some illusion so it's just a simple return a return to the present moment and also a return to seeing whatever the content of the ego is seeing that the ego isn't even real it's just daydreamed along with that along with the present moment experience is being aware of all the senses of the body being aware that all these things are happening all on their own and there is no I inherent in any of them. So it's just a simple scan. Scanning all the senses and scanning the body. And seeing that all these things are happening on their own. The eye seeing, seeing is happening on its own, there is no seer. Moving to hearing, hearing is occurring on its own, there is no hear. So for example, let's take these two senses. What you can do is you can start to cultivate and establish peripheral seeing. Peripheral seeing is allowing everything in the field of vision to be one. Vision can simultaneously, or it can rather jump from being focused on one item and then focusing on another item and then another item, or rather letting go of focus and just taking all of vision in the whole visual field taking it in as all one united field without labeling without labeling one tree as a tree without labeling the sky as sky without labeling the grass as grass without labeling any people as individuals just taking the whole visual field as one unlabeled seeing 
without even labeling the seer. Seeing is happening, it's happening of its own accord, and what is seen is also happening on its own without any labels. Starting to get used to that kind of reality. Same thing with hearing. The birds, the ears hear the birds, all of that is spontaneously, miraculously happening on its own. There is no need to label the birds chirping as birds. It's just allowing what is occurring to happen without any labels. In any situation, with any of the senses, there is always the choice. Identify with or not identify with. So for example, birds chirping, the ears hearing them. There's always a choice. The choice is to identify with hearing and label it as I am the one who is hearing or to not identify with hearing and to simply see that hearing is occurring on its own. It's just an aspect of reality occurring on its own and there is no hearer. Same thing with seeing. Anytime anything is seen, there is a choice. Identify with seeing as I'm the one who is seeing or not identify with seeing and allow seeing to be as seeing is simply occurring on its own, there is no seer. You further apply this to all the other senses. Breathing is occurring on its own, there is no breather. Feeling is occurring on its own, there is no feeler. Moving to the body, this whole body, feeling the whole body, sensing the whole body. This whole body moving through space, that body is occurring on its own, there is no body. -er. In the midst of all of this is also being aware of the senses, being aware of the body, being aware of the ego. That awareness also, there is a choice to identify with awareness or not identify with awareness. If there is identification with awareness, then it's the ego which is saying, I'm the one who is aware. Whereas awareness is prior to ego. Awareness being aware is happening on its own. Awareness can be aware of the ego labeling, or it could also be aware of no labeling by the ego. So what you want to do is you have this choice with awareness, either identify with it or don't identify with it. And we're choosing to not identify with awareness. Awareness is happening on its own, there is no awareer. So this is how, how this whole atmosphere of union and enlightenment is cultivated. It's this looseness, non-identification non-abidance, non-stickiness, no reference points, no I anywhere, no thoughts to hold on to, no egotism. Egotism is seen but it's not identified with. The senses are all seen and are aware of but they're, none of them are identified with. The body is felt, seen, awareness is aware of the body but also the body is not identified with. Even awareness itself is not identified with. There is no identifications, no clinging, no attaching to anything. Everything is smoothly flowing like water, all occurring on its own. There is no you to cling to anything, to attach to anything. It's letting go of this you, surrendering this who you thought you were, who you felt you were, surrendering the feeler. Letting go of the feeler, letting go of the identifier, letting go of any identifications. So everything is flowing smoothly, like a stream. Now this whole atmosphere, if you click on my YouTube channel and look through my videos, there is an AM and PM practice. It's cultivating the same atmosphere that I'm describing to you right now, but doing so first thing in the morning, 15, 20 minutes, and the last 15, 20 minutes just before sleep happens. So it's, it's cultivating this throughout the day. What I want to cover now is the, that there is an aspect that's passive and active. This, the cultivation of this atmosphere up, up to right now, what I've mentioned is all of it being rather passive. This is what you do when 
you're on the train or when you're driving or first thing in the morning or last 15 20 minutes before sleep or setting aside an hour a day to med meditate in this specific fashion in this specific style that's more passive what's active is cultivating this when it seems like you're doing things when doing is happening walking showering studying working talking to others listening to others communication cutting grass cooking eating these active moments are the difficult ones this is when it's a lot harder to deconstruct all identifications but you also need to apply all of this specifically to these aspects of the day what I basically call these are micro events your day is split up into an X amount of micro events so what are the micro events waking up is the first one getting up from bed and walking into the bathroom is the second one brushing teeth using the toilet showering is the next micro event leaving the bathroom to go get breakfast and start the rest of the day that's the next micro event cooking breakfast is the next micro event eating breakfast is the next one so each micro event needs to be broken down it needs to have this atmosphere cultivated within each single event of the day so that when it's properly cultivated there no longer are micro events everything's one arising one present moment always with no eye in it always with non-identification non-abidance non-attachment so in every micro event what will usually happen is especially during the the active ones is you'll lose yourself you'll, you'll lose awareness you'll lose yourself in egotism in identification so you just want to simply come back and ask yourself how is this current experience being filtered and by asking yourself that you can return to this no self atmosphere by again returning to seeing that the ego is filtering it's filtering that micro event that for example eating breakfast how is eating breakfast being experienced okay so checking on that okay well i lost myself for a good 10 minutes and i was thinking about i have to hurry up and eat so that i can get to work or eating while on social media or on the internet or while tv is is the tv is on and the news is playing all of that all of these distractions all of that that whole experience there's aspects of that experience that are filtering your reality and causing you to re-identify with egotism, re-identify with the body, re-identify with hunger, with whatever is occurring in that present moment experience. So it's a constant return into deconstructing each micro event, seeing whatever the content of the ego is and detaching from that, not clinging to any of it seeing that that thought stream isn't even real it's just an illusory machine and then returning to the present moment and seeing that that present moment experience is happening on its own without an experiencer eating is happening without an eater being hungry is happening without a being hungrier there is no i who is hungry hunger is occurring on its own eating is occurring on its own Washing the dishes after eating is occurring on its own. Going to work is occurring on its own. Driving is occurring on its own. Breathing is occurring on its own. This is how everything is always constantly deconstructed. So that there's always this return to this present moment, to attention, to awareness, to the looseness of identity. So there is no identity. Everything's free-flowing. And in the midst of that, there should always be a surrender. A surrender into this present moment, into the free flow of everything happening on its own. So you can check, for example, 
during the day when you find yourself that you've been lost in the storyline of egotism and you catch that you were lost in egotism, you were identified with the ego, check and see and scan the body. Is there tension there? Is the stomach tight? Are the shoulders tight? Is the, is the spine hunched over? For example, when you're talking to someone at work, when you're talking to someone in your family, your significant other, whoever it may be, deconstructing the act of talking Usually when talking is happening, there will be a lot of tension in the stomach, in the shoulders, tightness in the neck, straining of the face. So just being aware while talking is happening to someone, being aware of any physical tensions, any knots, any tightness, breathing into it and loosening it, exhaling it. So talking can be natural and free flowing. This also should be done in the passive practices also as well, just making sure there is no tightness, there are no knots anywhere, the whole physical vessel is, is loose and surrendered, and yet still upright, still attentive, still present. There shouldn't be any falling asleep except during the PM practice meditation. Then it's okay. However, this is something to cultivate all throughout the day just being aware of whatever the content of the ego is allowing that to be as it is without rejecting it nor reacting nor clinging no attaching seeing that this thought stream is occurring on its own there is no one who is doing the thoughts these thoughts aren't even real they're illusory superimpositions over reality which is already naked this already naked reality, it's the present moment experience. It's always there. That's the thing. This atmosphere that's being cultivated, it's always right there. It's never not there. The only problem is that egotism is superimposing its illusions over a reality that's already naked. These illusions aren't even real. They're that's their consistency is that they're made out of illusions out of daydreams out of conceptualized constructs that are not real they have no inherent reality so it's just seeing that they're there and allowing them to fall away allowing them to flow away like water like a stream and returning to this present moment which is happening on its own any thoughts about the past, about the future, are let go of, they're surrendered. They try to steal attention, so it's letting go of them, so attention is occurring all on its own, without any clinginess, without reference points. And then scanning the body, scanning all the senses, seeing that the senses are occurring all on their own. Seeing is happening on their own, no seer, all the other senses going through them one by one, they're each occurring without a sensor. Seeing is happening on its own, hearing on its own, breathing on its own, the blood flowing through the body is occurring on its own. It's all a spontaneous, miraculous arising, a spontaneous happening all on its own without a you in any of it. Scanning that whole body, seeing if there is any tension, feeling if there's any tension, knots or tightness anywhere in the body. That usually occurs when there's identification with the eye. The eye is very rigid and tense and it wants and it desires and it's always seeking, always hungry, always wanting. So it's a letting go of the eyeness, surrendering the eyeness as well as any physical tension, knots and tightness in the body anywhere that is associated with that. Even taking a deep breath and just exhaling all of those knots, breathing into any tightness and exhaling the tightness so everything's nice and loose. As well as cultivating the AM and the PM meditation videos that I have on my channel. And bringing that AM meditation into the rest of the day, into every situation, into every micro event. And just asking throughout the day, if there is a if there's a situation in any micro event where it feels like you are identified with you with the ego with the body 
just having that pause and the pauses can just be while you're driving to work during lunch breaks while eating during work breaks on the weekends when you're taking a, a, a walk on the weekends or while eating while cooking the drive the, the, the drive the walk the ride on the bus back from work there's all day there's plenty of opportunities to simply ask how is this current experience being filtered and then returning again to seeing what is the content of the ego not identifying with anything the ego does not identifying with any of the senses not identifying with the body with any tensions and just surrendering everything so it's nice and loose and that present moment experience is occurring all on its own without an experiencer and allowing a surrender a falling this an allowance allowing everything to occur as it is being in that present moment experience and allowing that being to be there as it is that beingness the beingness of the present moment experience without a beer without an identifier without a you everything is already united it's the ego that comes in and separates and divides everything causes division causes labels causes separation i am this person and the other people that i'm seeing are other people whereas how it should be is there is no labeling as i am this person there is no feeling that i am this person and other people are other people instead there is no labeling occurring at all everything is just free flowing when seeing is occurring it's peripheral seeing without any labeling of whatever is being seen if hearing is happening then allowing hearing to happen without labeling what is heard without any judgments without any positions reference points concepts and cultivating this kind of atmosphere is what will produce union and enlightenment and this is not something to look for this is something that will occur on its own it will occur when there is no looking for it when seeking is surrendered when looking for it is surrendered and there is just this surrendered natural present moment experience without an experiencer without any identifications without being stuck to any reference points any i any meanness any mindness and this is what will produce union and enlightenment eventually so it's just getting used to this playing with it i'm sure there will be a lot of questions that the ego will have letting go of questions letting them fall away or you can send me an email see some of the other videos for example the am and the pm meditations will also help and just allowing this atmosphere to occur in this way all throughout the day it will have a cumulative effect it will start to cultivate itself it will start to gain steam and become more and more and more and you can see this because there will be less of you there will be more unraveling of you undoing of you and this wateriness this flowingness this allowance allowing everything to flow as it is will start to become more and more and then this is what will produce the door opening into union and enlightenment and it occurs on its own it's nothing to look for nothing to try to find it has its own intelligence and that intelligence is grace and that grace has its own timing and its own way of opening things <laughs>